Okay, that is where you plug it in, and then the power button is in the upper corner. Just turn that on. You may have to hold it, and then you should see where it says Lab Quest. If there's any problems, then contact one of the teachers. Okay, for the probes in the top, of, there are channels, and we will be using channel one and two. Okay, so step one, once the lab quest is on, you need to plug in the channels. I find that if you have the hydrochloric acid in channel one, and for the base, channel two. And then it will display, and it will say channel one, it gives you red, acid red, base blue. Keep remember that. Okay, now we have our electrodes. Caution that there's a glass bowl. If it gets, if it dries out, it won't do it immediately, it will shatter and the probe is done. You have to throw it away. So we need to take it out of this buffer solution. To do that, it's sealed, loosen the cap. Hold on to the capsule, the bottle, whatever, <laughs> tightly, pull it out, and then I have waiting a beaker of rinse water, distilled water, and that's where we're going to keep it when not in use. Then we're going to put this in a safe place on a shelf, and your teacher will show you where to do that, or I will. Okay, now we're not going to worry about the numbers. So, for example, we're in distilled water. One is reading 7.746, the other one's reading 6. For this lab, we're going to focus on the change, 0 to 30 drops. Okay, so don't worry about what this says in comparison. Pour your 20 milliliters of water into a small beaker. Then five drops of your acid or base, depending on which one you're doing, and then add that to your beaker. You notice how we're both doing it at the same time. Then you'll swirl around your solution so it gets mixed up. So before you use your probe in your first solution and your next solution, you'll simply rinse off the probe, especially the glass bowl. And there will be fluctuation in the numbers. Once it stops jumping around, just take a measurement. So the acid, I would say, is 8.2324. And um, the base is still fluctuating, so wait till it finds its common number. I'd say after 30 seconds, just take a reading. It pauses base, it, yeah. The base is about 10.28. Okay. So, it's nice having four people to do this, someone to hold the beaker and the probe. Do not let go of the probe. It will tip over because it's top heavy. So always be holding on to it. And then you can put in five more drops. One, two, three, four, five. You can even use the probe to stir. Keep it still. Take your second measurement. And then you will keep doing that five at a time until you reach a total of 30 drops. When you're finished with that solution, you'll put it back into the rinse water. Let it sit there, you'll clean up, and you'll move on to your next substance. Same procedure.